hello friends in this video i will discuss the application of the schrodinger equation and one example is particle in a box or in finite potential well and i will discuss the schrodinger wave equation for particle in a box and then the tunneling phenomena you can see that if a particle is inside this box of length l then it is confined from 0 to l in uh, this uh, box and according to classical physics the particle can exist anywhere inside the box and it should follow the Newton's law but according to quantum physics it will have some certain states inside this box and we can see here from this image that the particle is bouncing back from the walls of this box and uh, quantum mechanically it will have this uh, standing waves inside this and according to de Broglie we can find out the wave function for this for the, this matter wave and uh, this is the wave function or we will get using the Schrodinger wave equation now we will use the Schrodinger equation to find the wave function and energy of this particle which is inside this box and if you consider a, a, a particle of mass m which is moving along x direction only from x equal to 0 to l and the particle is free inside uh, this box means potential energy b or u equal to 0 and the walls are infinite high and the potential barrier uh, is uh, b of particle is outside this box is infinity so these are the condition v x equal to infinity for x is less than 0 here this area and x is greater than l here also the potential is zero, uh, infinite and inside this box potential is 0 uh, means it have only kinetic energy so it will behave like a free particle between x equal to 0 and l now we solve the Schrodinger wave equation for different regions so particle is in this region region second where potential energy b equal to 0 or u equal to 0 and in that case we have the Schrodinger wave equation del square psi plus 2m by h bar square e minus b psi equal to 0 or if we take in x direction only one dimension it we can write delta 2 psi by delta x square plus 2m by h bar square e b equal to 0 for this region so it will be 2 m e by h square h bar square equal to uh, 0 and the boundary conditions will be required for the solution solving this second order uh, differential equation uh, psi x equal to 0 at x equal to 0 wave function is 0 and x equal to l at the boundary psi equal to 0 and now we have this equation uh, delta 2 psi by delta x square by plus 2m by h bar square e psi equal to 0 and if we take this term 2m e by h square uh, as k square where k is propagation vector 2 pi by lambda and it is under 2m e by h bar and now this equation is uh, equation number 2 becomes delta 2 psi by dx square plus k square psi equal to 0 and this is second order and differential equation and the general solution of this kind of equation is psi equal to a sin kx plus b cos kx so we have to find out these coefficients a and b using the bound given boundary condition so if you put the first boundary condition that psi equal to 0 at x equal to 0 so psi equal to 0 at x equal to 0 means put x 0 and psi 0 0 a sin 0 k plus b cos 0 k and sin 0 is 0 so it, it will give us b equal to 0 so one coefficient is 0 now we have psi equal to a sin kx only so now this equation psi equal to a sin ax kx and we have to use uh, uh, this properties of wave function to eliminate this coefficient a and uh, for this uh, we will use the second boundary condition psi equal to 0 at x equal to l so psi 0 
k sin k into l and this will give us that uh, a sin kl equal to 0 means a cannot be 0 because it is a coefficient so sin kl will be 0 or kl equal to n pi so this is the condition if sin theta equal to 0 then theta equal to n pi so kl equal to n pi k will be n pi by l and uh, we can find out the energy level using this formula k square equal to 2m e by h bar square so e will be k square h square by 2m or if we put the value of k also n square h n square pi square by l square into h square by 2m into 4 pi square if we put h bar as h by 2 pi then the energy equal to n square h square by 8 ml square so this is the energy for the particle inside the box and for n equal to 1 it is the lowest energy of the particle and it is also known as the zero point energy so e1 will be 1 square h square means it is h square by 8 ml square and if you see uh, for the box uh, the energies of particle in state n equal to 1 2 3 4 these values are discrete uh, energies not continuous as in classical physics so for e1 e2 e3 we can put the different values now the wave function we have got psi equal to a sin n pi x by l but here this coefficient a we will have to find out this also and we will use a condition that is known as the normalization condition which is that the volume integral of psi psi star uh, db equal to 1 the probability of finding the particle in space is 1 so if you put the values here 0 12 a sin kx whole square dx equal to 1 a square sin square kx equal to 1 and limit is 0 to l for particle of box length l so a square so sin square kx can be written as because we know one formula uh, cos 2x equal to 1 minus 2 uh, 1 minus uh, 2 sin square x so it will give us sin square x as 1 minus cos 2x by 2 so we can write in place of this sin square kx we will write 1 minus cos 2 uh, kx uh, divided by 2 and if we integrate then and put the limits uh, we can find out the value of this coefficient a and it comes under root 2 by l if we put the value sine 2 pi 0 sine 0 0 and uh, limits and then now the final form of the wave function psi which was in region second or in for the free particle it was under root 2 by l sine uh, cage n pi x by l so this is the eigen um, function eigen function or the wave function okay in this slide we can see the wave function and probability distribution for different states we know the wave function uh, like this it is under root 2 by l sine n pi x by l and if we plot it for n equal to 1 2 3 this there are standing waves or sine waves the wave, fun uh, wave function does not tell much about the particle but the probability will tell the position of the particle suppose for n equal to 1 in the uh, probability of finding the particle is in the middle of this box whereas for n equal to 2 the probability of finding this particle is at 1 by 4 time uh, 3 by 4 so this will uh, tell us about the probability of finding the particle here is an example an electron is inside a box of 0.1 nanometer means uh, it is all order of magnitude of atomic dimension so we can compare it that electron is inside the atom then what will be the its energies so we will have to use the this formula of a particle inside the box here electron is inside the atom so we will use this formula e n equal to n square h square by 8 ml square and m mass of electron is given length is given so if you put this well these values the joule can be converted into electron volt so e n equal to, e n equal to 38 n square e electron volt so for n equal to 1 it is 38 eb and for n equal to 2 it is 
4 uh, 2 square means 4 into 38 152 ev so there there are different uh, energy states or discrete energy states for different values of n inside the box or when the electron is inside an atom it will have the discrete energies now uh, we uh, solve one example to find the normalization constant if we have a function psi equal to a e raised to power minus uh, 3x square and we have to find this co coefficient a or normalization uh, coefficient a so um, we will use the normalization condition that is uh, integral psi psi star dx is equal to 1 finding the particle from minus infinity to plus infinity is probability is 1 so from here we can find out uh, we put the value of this psi a psi means this function a e raised power minus tx square so it is a real function so we can uh, take the square of this complex conjugate of real function is the same function so a, a into a a square e raised power minus it will be minus 3 square 3x square minus 3x square it will give minus 6x square tx equal to 1 so now we have to solve this integral and for solving this integral we use the standard integral form integration formula which is if this kind of integral is there e raised to power minus a x square dx and limit is minus infinity to plus infinity then the value of this integral becomes under root pi by a and here in place of uh, this a uh, we have um, 6 is there so we can use under root pi by 6 so the integral will be pi by under root pi by 6 a square into under root pi by 6 equal to 1 so from here we can find out a equal to 6 by pi to the power 1 by 4th and this value is 1.18 so this is how we can uh, find out this coefficient a in wave this is an example to get the probability for a particle inside a box l uh, between the length 0.45 l to 0.55 l so we have two limits how what is the probability of finding this particle uh, inside the uh, box and we will put the limit as uh, the probabilities uh, uh, under 2 by l into under 2 by l it will give 2 by l and sine square n pi x y l and limit will be 0.45 to 0.55 and if we put all the values here and we sine square n pi x y l can be written as 1 minus cos 2 pi n x by l and if we put the limit and for the ground state so first for the ground state means n equal to 1 and we will find the probability after putting the limits here after integrating this function and putting the limits uh, we get the probability uh, for, uh, finding the particle in first state 0.198 for first excited state the probability n equal to 2 and it is even less 0 0.0065 very small probability so we using this energy formula and wave function formula we can find out the probabilities and energy of the particle as a wave. Now we have one another example that wave function psi equal to a cos square x between minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2. So first we have to find out the value of a and also find the probability between 0 to pi by 4. So if psi equal to a cos square x then the probability or we have to use the condition for normalization to find out this value of a. Uh, minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 psi psi star dx equal to 1 so if you put it here uh, it will be uh, a square cos to the power 4x equal to 1 and if limit is minus a to plus a fx dx uh, it can be written as 2 times 0 to a if fx is even function so cos to the power 4x is even function so we can write it uh, 2 times of limit will be 0 to pi by 2 uh, 2a square cos to the power 4x dx equal to 1 and uh, to solve the integration of cos square x um, we have to write it in terms of cos 2x so we we know a formula cos 2x equal to uh, 2 cos square x minus 1 so from here we can write cos square x as 1 plus cos 2x by 2 and uh, 1 plus cos 2x by 2 whole square and then we can uh, integrate it and put the limits we will get uh, this values a equal to under root 8 by 3 pi 
and the, again for the probability we will uh, uh, probability is 0 to pi by 4 psi square dx and limit will be 0 to pi by 4 then we can find out the probability it will be 0.46 or um, 46% so this is how we can find out the normalization co um, coefficient and the probabilities. Again, this is uh, the energy formula. Calculate the energy difference between ground state and fast excited state. So we will have to find out the energies E1 and E2 using this formula. And mass of electron is fixed. Planck's constant is given. And the L uh, length of the box L or A is given. So just we have to put these values n equal to 1 and 2 and then we will e2 minus e1 will uh, give us the energy difference between these two levels. Thanks for watching this video and in next video we will discuss the quantum tunneling phenomena and if you are new to this channel then please subscribe. Thank you very much.